First off, take one part milk, as long as that part is, oh, about 7,500 pounds. Heat slowly, add culture, then color, and, well, you're about one-tenth of the way through the cheese-making process, which is no doubt lengthy and labor-intensive. That's why here at the LSU Dairy Store, they only make cheese when school's in, and they've got plenty of help. We make about uh, six to seven batches uh, every year. Sintil Ganesh is the creamery manager here at the LSU Dairy Store and a research associate with the LSU Dairy Science Department. He oversees all the cheese making here at the dairy store. And before one begins to make cheese, you first need to know a good bit about science and biology, in particular bacteria, enzymes, and acid, to name a few. Um, you want to uh, check the acidity of the whey every now and then? Basically, though, so, you, you know. add whole milk, which, by the way, is only about two days old and straight from these cows just across campus. Talk about fresh. Add color and rennet, which helps to coagulate the milk, separate the curds from the whey, then agitate for a while, all the while watching your temperature. Inside the we add to cheese that's rennet, and that rennet actually coagulates the milk. So when it makes a curd out of the milk right away, and like it takes about 30 to 40 minutes to make that, once we do that, and then we cut the curd into small cubes, so uh, tiny cubes, and then we cook that. In that process, the whey expels out of the curd, so we have to cut it into small cubes so that it has more surface area so the moisture can get up. After draining the whey, you're left with curds and lots of them. But it's these curds that will eventually become, of course, the cheese, but that takes time. Now this is a unique stage in the cheese making process. This is actually called the cheddaring, hence the name cheddar cheese. This is where the curds start to really mesh or mate together forming one big block of cheese. As you can see, these big slabs of curds are really beginning to mold or mesh together now, and most of the whey has been drained. Next up is the milling of the big chunks of curds. Ganesh says by cutting the big slabs of curds into these little chunks, you have more surface area and better drainage of the whey. A little later, salt helps to speed up that process, and of course it also helps with flavor. And speaking of flavor, now, Chase, I was like, y'all make that? <laughs> and it was, it was really good. I like it better than most any other cheese they sell in the store. The LSU Dairy Store is known for its fresh ice cream and assortment of flavors. But this is usually the time of the year when the scooping slows down and the cheese sales begin to pick up. We like to give people gift boxes of half cheddar and half uh, jalapeno, Cajun jalapeno cheese. And people are always happy to get LSU dairy products. We have a mail order program that uh, during Christmas we have gift boxes and also uh, along with the cheddar cheese, we also have a processed cheese that's a unique, that's uh, called the Cajun Jalapeno Spice Processed Cheese. So uh, people can buy it through mail order. We ship it throughout the country. Meanwhile, back to the cheese making process. It's now time to pack these cheesecloth lined boxes full of curds. After packing by hand, it's now time to turn on the press and let these boxes sit overnight. After vacuum packing the cheese blocks, they're put into a refrigerator to age. So as you can see, getting from here to here inside the cooler requires a good bit of labor, time, and knowledge, but all well worth it and just in time for the holidays. For This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, I'm Bill Sherman.